How to set up the Dingma Rays Tending Kit onto your Rays keyboard. Step 1. Open the box and make sure you read the instructions found behind the top lid. Step 2. Take out one half of the tenting kit by lifting the handles on each side. Step 3. Now take out the other half. Step 4. Place all the components on the table. You should have a screwdriver and 10 screws, and the right and left halves of the tenting kit. Step 5. Split your raised keyboard and start with one side. At the back of the raise, there are seven screws. You only have to unscrew the top five. One, two, three, four, and five. Step six, place the tenting kit at the back. Make sure you put the right side on the right keyboard and the left side on the left keyboard. Then screw in the screws. Use the ones that came with the tenting kit. Notice that these screws are different from the ones originally on your raise. Step 7. Do this for the other side. Make sure the screws are tight enough, but not extremely tight. And voila! You have successfully mounted your tenting kit. A few things to remember. First, when changing angles, make sure the axle is inserted properly into the angle selector. Don't be afraid to apply a bit of force. This tending kit is very sturdy. Second, these rubber feet are removable, so make sure they're also inserted properly. And finally, you can insert the race with the tenting kit inside the travel case. You might need to adjust it a bit so that you can close the lid, but the materials of the travel case are flexible enough for you to fit both the tenting kit and the race in it. Feel free to give us some feedback in the comment section below. We're open to all of your ideas and comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.